Hello everyone, welcome back. I thought I would paint on a piece of paper today outside of a journal just to experiment some more. I'm working on the Hanamule cold press 140 pound paper because it's my favorite along with the arches and I thought we'd pull out a palette card to work from. So I've got number 400 here from Color Cube Volume 2. Um, I love kind of just starting out with a palette. It gets me going in directions I might not normally go and playing in colors that I wouldn't normally play in. And I'm kind of, I've got my uh, Oceans paper set out because I am enjoying um, kind of playing in it for a bit and just seeing, you know, where we can go with the different colors in it instead of putting it away and not pulling it out. And I've got uh, yellow ochre. This one's tea rose. That's potter's pink. It's a little different than that, but it's still kind of fun. Um, and then how about camel? That's way off. Let's see. So yeah, it's just kind of fun to look at these. Okay, how about raw umber? And to say, okay, this is the color direction without it being like super stressful and getting stuck. And I'm almost thinking that for that color there, I've got all the colors here that I swatched out. And I'm almost thinking maybe seashell. Yeah, let's pull seashell. Um, there we go dirty because I've got other paint on there but I feel like that's going to be my color palette and these have been really fun to experiment and play with this is the around the world palette um, and they're handmade watercolors in Hawaii and I just like things that are a uh, different a little out of the normal to play and experiment in and I'm kind of thinking big abstract and then mark making on top. So let's just see what we could create. You could, we could go, I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of thinking big abstract, but you could go botanical. You could do lots of things that you could do. Um, I've got my big number four Raphael soft aqua brush so that I can get um, maybe a little bit larger color sections. And I'm going to start with the darkest color and just see what color that is and get moving on here. And I'm also thinking texture, like how do I get some extra texture in this? Um, so I have pulled out a fan brush to kind of experiment with. Okay, so I'm actually feeling like maybe I want to go and switch brushes. I like these uh, Princeton Neptune brushes. They hold a lot of water. They hold a lot of color. And I feel like that's where I'd rather be at the moment with this. So let's switch brushes and see. So just moving color around and experimenting here. And then I did get a big fan brush out. I was kind of thinking, what if we used a big fan brush? And this is just a Altrich 208 fan. Like, what if we go ahead and add in some interesting areas here with the fan and just see what we get? Okay, I like that. <laughs> that was fun. So just just off into different directions today. Let's just play. Some of the uh, watercolors, not saying this set in particular, but some of them have, they're made of like, you know, natural earth pigments and stuff. And they have almost like a sediment that they leave behind in the brush. And I feel like I've been painting um, with this brush with something that's got some sediment that left behind. I feel like I need to definitely clean the brush out really good um, in the sink after this session. Like maybe I have 
missed a good clean out. I feel like it's got a drag on it. Now let's see what this, this really light one doesn't show up a whole lot, but it shows up a little bit. It's just a little extra color in there. Okay. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Okay, I don't think that gave me enough color. But it is kind of different. And I'm feeling like we could mark make on top of this to definitely pull some other stuff out of it. Let's go back with some pink here. I like the pink. The pink is talking to me. And I kind of like mixing with the yellow. I love pink and ochre anyway. So it might be a nice little mix there in my brush for a little pink and ochre. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Completely different look than we've done before. I think we're going to do some color and mark making on top of this. So let me let this dry and I'll be right back. All right, this is dry. And I was looking at some of my stencil club stencils that I haven't pulled out. I'm really inspired by this being a flower motif on our inspiration palette. So I thought, ooh, that'd be fun if maybe we came in with one of these. It's like leaves is kind of what that looks like to me. And I'm kind of feeling like maybe we could do some botanical feeling thing on here. So I've just put out a little bit of paint, orange deep and red medium by the Blick Matte Paints and a little bit of Liquitex White Gesso because I'm feeling like I could mix these up. Let me get a dry sponge. That one's wet. Here we go. Um, that I could kind of mix these colors a little bit and let it be a little bit um, organic-y in the feel. Because um, in a piece that we did in our large media journal, um, some of these colors got mixed and I liked the way the mix worked with those colors. So what if I tack it down and make it easier on myself for a second so that they're not moving all around. And we just pick some areas for the paint to come down. And I think I'm going to dab it because this stencil does have enough area that it's... <gasps> okay, that's exactly what I was thinking. Anyway, it's got some pieces that come up real easy, so I'm trying to maybe avoid scraping paint under everything. See, that's kind of fun there. Let's see. Let me lift one side and see if I got it where I want it. Let's, let's make that firm so I can at least set it back down. Okay, that's pretty cool. I think I'll stop right there with that. <laughs> that's super fun. Okay, so I'm kind of feeling like I need some marks and some other things on top of that. Maybe in the white. I could do some mark making in the white. Um, maybe some lines. I don't know. What, what are we thinking that we need? Maybe I need some, some different... Okay, I'm just thinking out loud here. I'm kind of all over the place. Oh, maybe... Maybe with a little brush, we could come in here with some actual mark making.
Okay, don't ask me what that was. Might have been a mistake. So now I'm just kind of thinking a little bit of acrylic paint kind of out here doing some funky stuff that might be totally ruined in the fact that I did these leaves, but it's kind of fun to experiment in a way that you haven't before. Okay, I might not like that. <laughs> I'm thinking that we could use some white. So that's just the white gesso. I'm using it kind of like white paint. Maybe not. Okay, I'm not feeling that. So thinking, thinking some paint pen maybe, or maybe like some graphite. We could do some graphite. And I could maybe just draw some botanicals out here. And I am purposely drawing it with the great big crayon because it doesn't have to be perfect. It can just be something kind of interesting. Just doing a little paint dragging here because I thought that might be fun. Then I'm almost feeling like <laughs> we've gone a little crazy on this. Maybe this needs to be the backdrop of something else that we put on top of that. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like that could be the lower layers, and we need to now paint on top of that. <laughs> we crazy, and we know it. Because I'm not really feeling this now. I'm not feeling it. So let's just, let's now make this the bottom layers of something. And that something's going to be with the pinks and the orange. And now we're going to paint us an abstract on top of this and maybe some of that will show through.
texture and the extra dimension that the white adds when you start adding white on top of some of these colors it all of a sudden gives you a nice range of stuff I like that I'm just mixing around and moving stuff with the bowl spreader because that's fun and just seeing like what can that do I do have some buckling of my paper so it is acting a little weird <laughs> Ooh, but look at that oh now we're getting some good stuff though thinking maybe we can come back in here and do some funky whatever smart making totally got off of the direction that we started but it's kind of fun to just see where it leads you and if it's not working paint on top of it that's fine is my little clay tool that lets you kind of dig into stuff. It's got the little sharp end that looks a little bit like an ice pick. Okay, I actually thought this was definitely going to be I'm ready to give up day because I'm actually kind of ready to give up but I went and washed all my paint brushes out and then I thought you know what if we turn this into one of our big abstract flower pieces and that would save it for me and I was kind of thinking that vase spray of flowers so I pulled out some other colors blue red light burgundy uh, yellow ochre medium which this one seems to be really old but I th still think it'll be fine maybe some green dark green deep for leaves and I'm kind of thinking that let's turn this into some type of vase with flower thing so that's where I'm gonna go now not where I had intended but definitely an easy way to save the day and I'm just going to mark out the vase here with my bowl scraper to be like here's where we're starting and I think that we will save the day uh, with some flowers some big flowers somehow and we could even like mark some stems in here could come back with maybe I don't know, maybe something like a, a stabilo, maybe get some stems going. A, a woody, this is a stabilo woody. And then I could actually get that flower design started with those and then I'll kind of know where we're going just something whoa, I'm crazy okay kind of feeling that now okay and I'm gonna be working with one of my Princeton Umbria got some white gesso out here and I'm just gonna pull a bunch of colors into the brush all together and kind of go around twisting the brush a little bit but going around in some odd circly lines there and then that'll be our first layer and then I could come back with a second layer because these look good with multiple layers oh I'm already feeling better I, I really was thinking 
okay, I'm tired. It's time to give up. Because some days I paint more than one painting because I'm really feeling it. And it's kind of fun to, if you're doing a big double spread like we were working in our big book, it's fun to do the second spread before you put all your paints away and then you don't waste anything. And so I did a big double spread today and I thought I'm still wanting to paint. And at the same time, I am getting a little bit tired. And then when I pulled out whatever this mess was, I thought, ooh, maybe I'm too tired. <laughs> okay, I wish I had not done the weirdo green stems there. So I'm like, hmm, now we need to see how we can not have the vivid greenness hanging out there. So as these kind of dry a little, I'm going to come back up here and add a second layer. We'll just pretend these are like abstract roses or something. Something that has a, you know, a little petal that kind of does that fun kind of, I don't know what that is even called. <laughs> just ignore me now. Now I'm getting tired. <laughs> My little caffeine chocolate, the awake chocolate, it's, I think it's wearing off. <laughs> I, might be, I might be ready to eat lunch after this. Okay, I don't know what's up with that yellow ochre paint, but I think I'm going to have to throw that bottle away. That was weirdo chunky paint. Which sometimes the colors, maybe I've got them all, but I don't pull out a color hardly ever. And so sometimes that, I think I think they do kind of chunk up and go bad. I think that one kind of went bad. <laughs> now we're just being funny. Okay. Sounds kind of crazy. Not sure that I really even love where that went. I feel like I do need color in this vase. Like what kind of vase could we make that that's going to contrast what we've already got there? I do need some leaves, but I don't want to put the leaves in there yet. I pulled out a green that I didn't really like that matches that green right there that I don't like. <laughs> what do I do with that green? <laughs> How do I get rid of the green? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Work with me, guys. Work with me. We're just going to have to... we got to... We got to get rid of that green. That, that green was bad. It was a bad green. All right, let's come in here with our flowers. There we go. Okay, now I need to do something with that vase. I almost, I really wish I had a yellow ochre or something like that that was not whatever that was. Okay, so this is yellow oxide. Let's see if this is any, oh yeah, that's way better. We could do, you know, it'd be cool as if you had papers, if you like mixed media stuff, um, you could paper that out with some lovely mixed media things. I think I'm going to make it though, lovely yellowy base here. And then we could stencil something on the vase and that might look cool. Okay, I'm glad I got rid of whatever that was doing. That was crazy and it was just making me unhappy. Now we could, we could kind of pick a stencil and maybe pick paint off of this. That might be fun. Um, do I got a do I got a flower stencil or something that's readily available that we could do that? <gasps> oh, here we go. Okay, I got it. I got it. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Some of these that have this these little patterns on it. This is a stencil club, stencil by stencil girl. This was uh, January of 2024. But I think what I'm going to do is take maybe like a baby wipe or a shop towel, pull a little paint back up, like reverse, so that we see what's left underneath. 
so it's real subtle hopefully and if we don't like it well we can just paint over it again let's see what we got okay that was cool kind of needed it up there though didn't i let's see if we can do one more okay like right there okay there we go oh that's cool okay i feel good about that just pull the paint back off and then we've got something interesting in our in our vase there and then let's come back in with a little bit of fun craziness here for the flower okay i didn't like that that had the funky paint there we go I like that Now we could come on top with another layer. Oh, I need some leaves in there. Oh, we missed one right there. Look at that. We drew it up there and then we never stuck anything in there. I need this dark color. That was what really made these look so good. Some days it's just around the world to even get to a finished piece, right? <laughs> but always worth keeping these just in case maybe if I did this funky green with the white let's see it's always worth keeping these just in case because what if later you thought of the perfect thing to do with the piece and if you had it oh there we go okay let's do that if you didn't throw it out and you would have it to work with I'm just coming through leaf-ish shape. That's pretty good. I like that. Now, we could mark on top of that with um, anything, really, but I'm kind of loving where we're going. Paint pen. I feel like a little paint pen on top, maybe some dots in there. I feel like that would be good. So let's try this. Sometimes it takes all around the world to get to where we're going, huh? All right, it's not completely dry, but it'll get us where we're going. Let's get out some white paint pen. This is where all the little white paint pen spots come from, by the way. I take the lid off, and then I'm like, oh, let's shake it. And then we've got just white spots everywhere. Because <laughs> I'm a nut. Okay. That's just the white Posca. And I'm just going to put some fun little dots in here because dots are magical that's kind of fun just a little bit like there's a little bit in there and I'm kind of feeling like that we could come in with um, a few of a colored dot kind of mixed in just a little bit like those are future blooms maybe that's just a little Artix acrylic marker but I like some of these colors we could color the roses a little more with some more details but I think for today I'm getting kind of tired Took us a while to even get here. Honestly, was about to throw this video out because I thought, uh, not even gonna get anywhere today. But I feel like perseverance, I feel like we kind of got there after all of that. And we could even add in some gold. Could be something I add later. But let's just see where we're at. What did we get today? Because I'm actually quite pleased with where I just went. I was discouraged for a bit. Went and washed my paint brushes. I thought, all right, let's just give up and eat lunch today. <laughs> just And instead of hiding the failures or the days that I'm not as, that I'm getting tired, I thought, how can we fix this? And let's just have a little problem, creative problem solving. <gasps> and then we peel the tape. And then look how pretty that is. And weirdly enough, that could possibly be like a future maybe favorite of mine. 
I'm not sure if the contrast is completely there with what I did for the vase, but for the most part, look how pretty that is. I'm quite pleased how I saved it at the very end. <laughs> Hope you had fun in this long windy road of how we got to this piece today and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.